All right, I think we are live. So welcome everyone to our webinar tonight, how to immediately stop stressing out. I am super excited to have you with us tonight. And I just wanna honor you and thank you for being here. And a lot of us have so much stress in our lives and we just get caught up in the go, go, go of life, in the busyness of life, that we don't take a moment to stop and become a little more self-aware of what's going on. So I really want to honor you for being proactive in your own life. And I want to thank you for being here. I feel a great responsibility to share this message with you tonight. And this was kind of an ironic thing. As I was preparing for this webinar this week on how to stop stressing, I got totally <laughs> stressed out, totally stressed out. And I had more stress this week than I have had in a really long time. Um, it was the little stresses, such as like technology not working. Uh, for instance, you might see like the countdown timer here below me. It shows that we still have like an hour before we air. That was my bad. <laughs> um, I put in mountain standard time instead of mountain daylight time. So, you know, those little kind of things can stress us out for sure. And then this morning, as I was getting my girls ready for the day, they decided to have a screaming match during breakfast. And this was a fun screaming match, but there's something about that shrill, high-pitched scream that is enough to get anyone, including me, into stress mode. So I had all those little stresses to deal with. I'm sure you can relate. We can't make it through a day without something kind of getting under our skin, on our nerves. And then I had some bigger stresses. And these were more like self-doubts, not thinking that I could actually do this, and some fears of failure. Uh, I think that as we push ourselves to do something we've never done before, we immediately have those fears that kind of creep up and those self-doubts. And so that's normal. Like the goal isn't to have a stress-free life. That isn't reality. The reality is, is there are going to be those stresses and there are going to be those moments that really push us. And it's not that we want to completely eliminate all of those. It's what do we choose to do about it? So <laughs> this week was a perfect opportunity for me to apply these principles into my own life. And I tell you from the bottom of my heart and from my own life experience, that they work. It does take mental effort to change your mental state, but if you do, you will feel so much better. I promise. So as I get to do some screen sharing here, I want us all to just take a deep breath. Yes, you can breathe with me <laughs> and just release any of the stresses of the day. And I would encourage and invite you to just be really present with me on this webinar and make it a truly beautiful, relaxing experience. So here I go. I'm going to use this screen sharing here to show you these beautiful slides I put together. So, all righty. Looks like that works just great. Yay, technology. <laughs> awesome. Very good. So how to immediately stop stressing out. Let me just introduce you to myself in case you don't know me. My name is Heather Choate. I am a mother of six. Yes, you're right. That's right. You heard me. Six beautiful children. I'm kind of addicted to babies. However, they do create a good amount of stress. I am also a best-selling author. I am a speaker, mentor, and a coach. And I title myself as a breast cancer warrior. I fought breast cancer while I was pregnant with my sixth baby. And that book cover there of the, Paul, the bald pregnant lady, that's me. That's when I was pregnant with my sixth baby going through chemotherapy to fight cancer. So none of those things really matters. The only thing that matters is that I am a real person like you. And I have real stresses like you. I've learned that it's not about having a stress-free life like we talked about because that's not realistic. We're always gonna have those things that get on our nerves, our major self-doubts that come in from time to time, and that's okay. It truly is what we choose to do about it that matters. All successful people and average people, all of us, we have to deal with stress on some level. We all do it, and it is actually scientifically proven to make us 
dumber. <laughs> dumber. That's right. That very thing that is, you know, tightening our jaw lines and making our stomach turn in knots can also be shriveling up our brains like a raisin. Neuroscientists at the University of California, Berkeley, found that chronic stress triggers long-term changes in brain structure and function. And the stress hormone, cortisol, I'm sure we've all heard of it as the fat hormone, but the stress hormone cortisol can kill, shrink, and stop the generation of new neurons in the part of the brain called the hippocampus. And this part of the brain is pretty vital. It's vital for learning, memory, and emotional regulation. I could use some emotional regulation. I don't know about you, but I need my hippocampus to be functioning, functioning properly. So this means that stress makes us dumber, more prone to anxiety, depression, and those meltdowns that we don't want to have, but sometimes we do. So no one wants a raisin brain, right? Now the good news is we can stop stressing immediately. We can put the brakes on that thing. It's important for me to make this applicable to you. I want to give you real tools that you can use right now to immediately stop stressing out. So in order to do that, I invite you to go through some exercises with me. That's right, right now, we're gonna make this webinar a little bit interactive. I know you can't see me, I can't see you, but I really appreciate if you could do some of these exercises with me so that you can feel the full impact of what I'm trying to tell you right now. So if you can, if you're in a good place, get out a pen and a paper, as long as you're not driving, and answer this question. What's one specific situation that seems to stress you out on a consistent basis? Something that every day just kind of gets under your skin, gets on your nerves. You know, for me, it could be the girls' high-pitched screaming matches. Uh, for you, it could be the dog chewing up your remote control or the toothpaste cap being, being left off or your coworker taking your parking spot when he knows that it's yours. Whatever that is, go ahead and think about, pinpoint a few or one or two situations that stress you out on a consistent basis. Now, after you've written that down, we're gonna answer this question. What negative impact does it have for you and of course, for those around you? The negative impact of you stressing about it because the situation is actually neutral. What negative impact does you stressing about it have for you and of course for those around you? For example, I'll just take myself. When the girls scream, I feel my, my whole body tense up. And I don't know if you can actually hear them in the background because they just did it. <laughs> my husband's feeding them dinner. Um, they have this high pitched shrill scream and it makes me have a lot of tension. And it instantly puts me from whatever state I was in into a state of, ah, I've got to stop this. Um, into a little bit of semi-panic, and I know that that's not good for me. And when I'm in that state, sometimes I tend to snap out or overreact, and I turn into just a reaction monster. So that's not good for my children, obviously, if I snap at them or, you know, lose control of my temper or anything like that. So that can be damaging to them. So go ahead and write it out for you. What impact does it have for you and those around you? Lastly, what would you change of what would change if you no longer stressed over it? What if that thing happened, that trigger, but you no longer felt any stress about it? That'd be pretty freeing, wouldn't it? It'd be better for you, for your relationships. Go ahead and jot down what that would really mean for your life if you no longer stressed over that thing. Now, what is stress? We're gonna break it down. I believe there's two types of stress. There's those little stresses and then there's the big stresses. And I wanna give you some practical tools right now so that you can start to deal with both of those on a very visceral level. Stress is when we get overwhelmed by things happening in our life. Usually they're things we feel like we cannot control. Sometimes they're things we worry about in the future. Very often that is the case. So, we experience stress when we leave the present moment and get caught up worrying about possible future scenarios 
that may or may not happen. So we're playing the mind game and our head has left the current reality and is thinking of, you know, oh, I can't pay this bill. So now this is going to happen. And then we're going to get kicked out. And then this is going to happen. My husband's going to leave, da, 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 whatever it is, right? We get caught up in this future scenario of what may or may not happen. I love this quote by Mark Twain. He says, I've known a great number of troubles, but most of them never happened. Actually, I wrote it down differently here. Sorry. I've lived through some terrible things in my life, some of which, which actually happened. That's funny. In my notes, it's quoted both ways. <laughs> I wonder which one's the true one. Either way, it illustrates a good point that some of the terrible things we think have happened have really only happened in our minds. Here's another great quote by Ehart, Eckhart Tolle. All stress is caused by being here and wanting to be there. It comes from wanting something to be different than what it is. But all we have is this moment. So first, I want to share three truths that will help us immediately stop stressing out and shift into something more positive like action. So the first truth is we need to connect with the present, especially when we're doing that future worrying act. So embrace whatever is happening right now. Hug the moment. Wrap your arms around it. I want you to really feel it because wishing it wasn't so that something hadn't happened or like something different would happen, this doesn't help you. It really only does harm. But if you feel that moment, this is what being alive is. It's being in the present, here and now. And when you get connected with the present, this will help you take action when it's time to take action. And you'll do so from a place of clarity rather than a place of, ha -ha, you know, complete stress. So a way to connect with the present moment is to find one thing to be grateful about in your current situation. So if it's raining and your roof is leaking, the baby's crying, no one's sleeping, you could be grateful for the way the rain sounds on your rooftop or the fact that there are shoes on your feet or the fact that your house isn't being washed away in a tsunami, right? Things could always be worse, right? So find something to be grateful for. And for me, like with my girls screaming, I could be grateful that I am here because I fought for my life to be here and I fought for my life for Kiri to be here. And so when she's sitting there just railing on the top of her lungs, I can just hug her and be so, ha so happy and grateful that, that she's here and that I'm here. So tune yourself to the present moment and find something to be grateful for. And if you can't find something to be grateful for, then make something like interrupt that energy and shift your focus. It's amazing what interruption actually does. When we interrupt, then it just causes our brain to have to figure something out. We're like, oh, this is different. Okay, I guess I'm not stressed. I'm focused on this now instead. So do something that you love. And I call this the hot chocolate principle. And that's because my family is Swiss and we love our hot chocolate and drink it often. Just ask my mom. She's watching this. Hi, mom. Thanks for being on. So bring something beautiful into the moment. Be creative. Have a couple of go-tos so that you know exactly that. Okay, I'm feeling stressed. I'm going to go on a walk. I feel stressed. I'm going to go take a bath. I feel stressed. I'm going to go drink hot chocolate. Love it. So here's a powerful truth. You cannot feel stress and gratitude at the same time. So try it right now. Here's another exercise. Try to think about what's worrying you and something you are grateful for. I'm worried about our mortgage payment and I'm grateful for our house. Okay, it doesn't work, right? So choose gratitude to bring your emotions to a calmer, more present state. The second truth is that everything is solvable. Everything, it is. There is a solution. So slow down your head and into the moment. 
this picture cracks me up. <laughs> um, my kids really love Star Wars and insisted that I use it. So here's a stormtrooper for you. But what it illustrates is that anything can be solved if you break it down into a series of steps and follow those steps, one, two, three, and four, to handle the problem. So for me, I could say, I really need to train my children not to scream during breakfast. Here are the steps to doing that. And then I get into action about it. So most stress is initiated completely in our minds. It's truly how we react to a neutral situation. And if it's not necessarily neutral, it's one that can be solved to become what you want it to be. 99% of our stress lives in our head. So get out of your head, out of your mind, and into the present moment because that's where your power is. Stop stressing. Start engaging. Slow down. Talk with a friend. Do some meditation. Become mindful and truly, truly present. The third truth is that nothing is worth getting stressed out over. Have you noticed that everything seems to work itself out in the end? Remember all those things you worried about when you were 16? How many of those actually happened, right? Very few, I'm sure. <laughs> In my experience, every time I freak myself out and get myself worked up over things, somehow it always works out. So stress only makes you less effective. And honestly, stress is like poison to your productivity. I recommend that you give your problems time and you'll soon realize they weren't problems at all. The second aspect of stress is fear. As I mentioned before, this is a really big one. So we need some tools to be able to help us with that fear. Fear lurks behind most stress that we feel, but it's something that we don't like say aloud. We don't say, I've got fire on my heels because I'm afraid I'm going to be the world's greatest failure of the century. No, when someone asks, how are you doing? You might answer, oh, I'm so stressed. The kids, da, 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 da. You don't really say, I'm afraid I'm failing as a mother. We don't, we're not that real with ourselves and we're not that real certainly with others. So recognize that some stress is derived from your fears and your insecurities. That fear can be a good thing when we're, say, running from a lion. The only thing is we're usually not running from a lion these days. But we have kept our ancestors' stress, re stress response over the ages, and it no longer serves us as it did then. So we have to reprogram our minds and learn to let it go. Now, one of the things that we do here at Pandasphere is help people identify their limiting beliefs. These are beliefs we have adopted over time, sometimes as early as childhood. they are things our parents, our teachers, our peers said, or things we simply picked up from the media and our culture. Now we're going to do our next exercise. With that sheet of paper, we're going to identify the top 10 limiting beliefs that most people have and rate how strongly you believe them on a scale of one to 10. So we're gonna do this together. You're gonna to say how strongly you feel that this is true about you. Number one, I'm not good enough. So rate that on a, strong, on a scale of one to 10. How true is that about you? Go with your first answer because that is the one that your subconscious mind most closely relates to. I'm not good enough. The second one, I'm not worthy. How strong do you feel that that is true? I have a fear of failure. I have a fear of success. I don't deserve it. It's too late to change. I don't have time. Fear of what others will think of me strongly do feel that. I do not forgive myself. And money is evil. Now, I hope that you have done that and taken a moment to check in with yourself. This is really valuable information to understand what your own limiting beliefs are. Now, one of our coaches, Mark, is incredible at doing these guided visualizations. And I'd really love to share one with you today that he created. 
So we're going to go ahead and turn that over to him. And it really helps if you close your eyes during this. Often when trying to change thoughts, it's suggested to repeat certain phrases to yourself that counter the stressful thoughts. But how do you purposefully change your emotions? This guided visualization will help change an unwanted emotion, bringing you closer into the, the peace that you are looking for. I want you to start by closing your eyes and identifying the negative emotion that you're trying to replace. What does it feel like? Where does it sit in your body? Often emotions are felt in a specific part of the body, like the chest, head, or shoulders. So where does it sit in you? What thoughts go along with that belief? Often stressful thoughts have to do with responsibilities and expectations, feeling busy, not knowing the next step, or just overall chaotic thoughts in general. Now, I want you to close your eyes and imagine yourself in an empty room. The room is warmly lit and the air feels gentle and comforting. I want you to imagine that you have the ability now to reach inside of yourself, pull out that stressful emotion. If it was sitting in your chest, reach in and pull it out of your chest. If it was in your head, then pull it out of there. As you pull it out, notice what does it look like? As you gather more of it out of you, I want you to begin to set it aside because the emotion does not belong inside of you. It is not a part of you. Sometimes it takes a few moments to pull all of the emotion out. So I'll pause here for just a little bit for you to continue. Now that you've pulled this emotion out, you notice that the room isn't actually empty. In front of you is a box on a table with an opening in the front. You notice that there's a bright light shining out of the box. I want you to take all of those stressful thoughts and emotions that you piled up next to you. I want you to open up the, the opening of that box and put them all inside. As you put them in, you see that the light inside is slowly dissolving that stressful emotion. It just seems to be melting away inside that box until it is completely gone. On the side of the box, you notice a curious dial. I want you to turn it clockwise, and as you turn it, Notice that the light inside the box is getting more intense to the point where it is now shining brightly out of the opening, basking you in the light that dissolved that stressful emotion. As the light touches you, I want you to imagine what it feels like to be calm, to be relaxed, to feel at peace. The light provides those emotions for you. And as you continue to turn the dial, those feelings continue to increase. Take a moment just to slowly turn the dial, increase the light, and more fully feel relaxed and calm without worry. That is the guided visualization. And I wrote it to do a few things. One, it helps to identify your emotion. Because how do you go about purposefully changing your emotions unless you understand and identify them? I wanted you to visualize getting rid of these emotions and acknowledging that they don't belong inside of you. And I wanted you to replace the emotions with something more positive. 
feeling empty isn't going to help you, but feeling calm, feeling at peace will. Guided visualizations like this are a way to quickly try and adjust your emotions. They give our body and our brain more concrete ways to deal with them. If you find that you're still feeling stressed or anxious after completing this exercise, please repeat it a few times. I guarantee that as you repeat it, your stress will leave and you'll begin to feel that peace. Now, as you continue using exercise like, exercises like this, it becomes easier and easier to consciously and purposely choose how you want to feel. Awesome. Okay. This is a quick clearing you could do any time. <laughs> Push the wrong button there. I apologize. Okay. Well, after that deeply relaxing experience, I'm sorry if I startled you. I feel like that is yummy for our brain, that our brain craves that calmness and focus. I understand this might be a little bit strange doing on a webinar, but I kind of like doing things a little bit different, and I hope that it was of use for you. So, wouldn't it be great if we could break the stress cycle for good? And I'm gonna give you three habits to cut stress off at the knees. The first is a daily meditation practice, similar to what we just did. Now we've also given you the anti-stress meditation right here on this Facebook page to you for free. It's a priceless resource, but we're giving it to you today for free. And this is an incredible way to balance your and calm your mind, your nervous system, and your body. So I recommend following the meditation at least once per day for about 30 days consistently to see the greatest effect. And I feel really strongly about this because we all under I understand the idea of replenishment. We replenish the gas in our cars and we restock our refrigerators. We make sure to bring plenty of food and water to replenish ourselves physically when we set out on a long hike. And I think we need to apply this principle to our minds. We need to replenish and refuel ourselves mentally each day so that when the stresses and challenges come, like the girls are screaming in the kitchen, we will have the strength and resources we need to tap into. But if we are depleted ourselves, then it's much easier to get into reaction mode. My second recommendation to cut stress off at the knees is to eat super clean. I'm not gonna go into detail here, but we have enough stress in our lives. We don't need to put more stress upon ourselves with toxic food. And the third habit is daily exercise. And I could tell you that science shows us that exercise reduces stress, releases endorphins and dopamine, the feel good chemicals, and that leads to happier, healthier ways of being, but I think you already know that. The challenge for you now is to go from knowing to doing. And like Nike says, just do it. So my husband has heard me say that my treadmill is my best therapist. It's so true. I talk to it. I scream at it. I do affirmations with it. I get all the pent up energy and frustration out as I push myself physically. And this morning I went on a run outside and just, it was so great to get the fresh air and the nature. It's really hard to feel stress when you are in nature, moving your body. So here is a simple toolkit to obliterate stress. The next time you feel stress mode coming on. So recognize that you have only two choices. So pick one. The first choice is to take action and do something about it. Identify what the problem is and what a solution could be. Then get to work on it. Don't procrastinate this because you don't want to be holding on to that stress any longer. Like fix it now. You don't need to carry that around with you. You'll feel so much better if you let it go and get to action on it. I challenge you to do the hardest thing first every day. If you do the hardest thing first, you will be unstoppable. Now let's say that there's nothing, there's not something to be done about your situation. So whatever is stressing you out is not something you can control or take action on, like a big storm or you know things that are just completely out of your control. I can almost hear you asking me from the other side of this webinar, 
So what do I do now, Heather? Hmm? <laughs> well, that's a great question. And one I've personally been faced with a good number of times. Sometimes there are situations we cannot control or change no matter how much we want to. Personally, I can really speak to this. I faced major challenges I simply could not control, like having cancer at 29 years old when I was pregnant. There were some things I could take action on, but there was a lot that I had no control over. And that's why there's option two, car dance. Some situations are like being stuck in traffic. You can't go forward, you can't go back, you're simply stuck there. There's nothing you can do about it, so you've got to make the best of it. You could get mad, honk your horn, curse, and let the stress rise, rise, rise. Or you could crank up the music and dance it out. And if after the dance party is over and the problem is still getting you down, then I would recommend you seek the guidance of some people who have gone through something similar. There may be something that you don't know and they may know that, and a lesson that you can learn, a characteristic within yourself that you could develop. And again, I have a personal um, experience with it just this week. I was speaking to a coach myself this week about my fears of failure as I launched this business, and she said that I need to stop resisting that fear. I need to give it space and just let it be. And the more I resist it and try to push it away, the bigger it was getting. So I needed to say, okay, this is me afraid. This is Heather afraid. This is Heather stressed. And allow room for it to be there. Those feelings weren't there to stay. They were there to pass. That's kind of like what Les Brown says. This trial hasn't come to stay. It has come to pass. And it was this beautiful, beautiful experience because she saw what I couldn't. And she was right. So I gave my fears some space and they moved on. My next tool in the toolbox is to slay the dragon. If you know me at all, you'll know that I love this one and I've talked about it before on my YouTube channel. Slaying the dragon is to get all the yuck out. Don't let it consume you. Determine exactly what it is that is stressing you out and why. I think so many times we feel stressed and we don't even know why. Have you ever felt that? I know I have. I'm like, oh, I'm so stressed and I don't even know why. So this exercise will help you identify what it is that is stressing you and help you become more self-aware. So here's what you do. You get a pen and some paper. And if you're like me, you might need a small forest before you're done and that's okay. But you're going to write out everything that is bothering you. I mean, everything you say, you write out, I feel frustrated, angry, mad, sad, scared, overwhelmed. Um, I feel like I'm going to fail because then you feel, fill in the blanks, whatever it is that's making you feel that way. I feel frustrated because every time this person does that, it makes me feel like this, whatever it is. I feel so angry at myself. I feel so mad. I'm so scared. Whatever it is, you fill in the blanks and you don't stop moving that pen until you've gotten out every single little thing onto the page. Don't censor your writing. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about grammar. Scribble. Cuss if you have to, don't tell my mom I said that. Cuss if you have to, <laughs> whatever it's going to take to release all the negativity inside of you and identify what it is. Now, an important note is to write down only the negative, not the positive. When you're done with that, when you've gotten every single last ounce of that negativity out, you're gonna crumple up that paper, shred it, throw it away. You can even go outside and burn it in your driveway if you want to. The point is, you are telling your subconscious mind, thank you for the information, but I am done with that. I am letting it go now. Then you get into solution mode. You brainstorm productive ideas to solve that problem. All right, if it's that you have too much to do, I've got too much to do, not enough time to do it, then think of a solution. Maybe you can put some of those things aside for a time or eliminate them altogether. Maybe you can delegate, but you're gonna to start to brainstorm and become productive here. This gives you a sense of control and power. And I actually get excited when I get a little stressed out because I feel in control. I tell it, you know what? You don't have me, I've got you. I'm gonna show you something and I own you. <laughs> Now, remember, you cannot have stress and gratitude within you at the same time. Well, the same is true with 
fear and faith. You can't have both of those within you at the same time. So have faith in yourself. Have faith in your journey. Have faith that you are here to learn and grow. Sometimes what you are most afraid of doing is the one thing that will set you free. This is a powerful idea, and I'm so excited that on our next webinar, it is exactly what we're going to talk about in greater detail. So stay tuned for that. Now, Marianne Williamson has a great quote. She says, ego says, once everything falls into place, I'll feel peace. Spirit says, find your peace and then everything will fall into place. And that is what we at Pandosphere are aiming to do, help people find their peace. We invite you to live a life of freedom and power now. Our purpose is to free people from physical, financial, and emotional pain, and in the process, create a shift in the mindset of people around the world. But it starts with you, your life, your peace. We believe life should be lived with purpose, passion, and presence. So please let us know how we can be a further service to you. I hope you've enjoyed this message today. What do you need to get to the next level? I invite you to connect with your inner self and open your mind to the possibilities that you truly can have the peace, the joy, the happiness that you crave, and honestly, you deserve it. Now, as you registered for this webinar, when you logged in, you opted in to receive our exclusive email newsletter, and this will only include the most valuable life enriching content on the planet. We will share with you our uniquely created motivational videos, priceless resources, such as the anti-stress meditation, and let you know about our most valuable specials and events. And I'd also like to offer you our customized living vision board videos. If you've ever had a vision board or know what one is, you know that they're powerful, but this is taking that principle to the next level in a full sensory experience. We put your vision, your goals to music and to video. And my partner, Jennifer has put several together and they're beautiful, emotive, and so easy and simple to work with on a daily basis. This is going to help train your brain. You just put it on, watch the custom made video and it helps remind yourself of what you want and to get you into the feeling as if you already own it. That's going to bring it to you faster than anything. Promise. It's so great. And this is a powerful communication with your conscious and subconscious mind to bring you exactly what you desire. We create the video based on your goals. So this is custom to you based on what you want to achieve. We're offering that to you today for $45. We also have an audio MP4 download only of that for $19.99. Now, for those really ready to make a change in their life, we have individual one-on-one -on -one coaching available. This is where things really get exciting. Remember how I mentioned how a coach helped me see what I couldn't this week? That is the power of a coach. All athletes, teams, and highly successful people have a coach. Think of Michael Jordan, even he had a coach. It makes so much sense to have one for your life, which is the greatest game of all. A coach helps address your specific needs, help identify your limiting beliefs. Remember that exercise we just did where we rated our limiting beliefs? A coach will show you how to clear those limiting beliefs permanently and move toward what it is that you really want in life rather than what you don't want. A coach will also work with you to create an action plan to reach your goals and give you that all important accountability. We give you a free assessment. We are offering everyone a 30 minute session. Anyone who's interested in learning more about the coaching and to see if it will be a good fit for you and help you reach your goals. With the individual coaching, you will have a one hour individual session each week. Exclusive access to our monthly mastermind Q&A with me and a coach to get all your questions answered. And that is a $75 value. Super, super awesome. Our bonuses is that you get a customized living vision board video and audio as part of 
as part of the uh, package for doing coaching. And that's a $64.99 value. You also get access to our private mastermind group on Facebook. And this is a powerful resource. It helps you connect, network, and discuss principles with other like-minded people in the program. Now our a la carte session, one hour session is $150. So you can try it just one hour session for $150. And our one month package is typically $560. But today we are offering a special limited time offer of only $120 for a four week, one month package. So for less than the cost of a single session, you'll get four powerful coaching sessions to take your life to the next level. So which one do you like better? The one session for $150 or four for $120? Now just imagine how much your life could change in the next three months. What if you could move past the fear, move past that stress that you're feeling, move past uncertainty in your life? Create freedom in your life. Realize health. Have inner peace. Create a game plan to achieve your goals. Have happy relationships. Have self-love. That was a big one for me. Journey to self-love is huge. Have genuine gratitude and a toolbox to handle all of life's situations. How much could you change in just three months? And that is what our coaching will help you do. Now, we realize that even the great deal of $120 may be out of reach currently for some of you. And we'd really like to give everyone the opportunity to participate in this life altering program. So we have a special group coaching offer for you today as well. You can join our group coaching today for only $45. This is a limited offer and it will be first come first serve. We do anticipate a lot of people will take advantage of this opportunity. And so I recommend getting in right away because once those spots are filled, they're filled. Here's what you get. One month of working with one of our coaches in a group setting. You get the support, accountability, and massive personal growth. Now, like I said, this is a limited offer. I can't make any promises that you'll get in right away. So if this resonates with you, I would recommend joining right away to be sure you get a spot. So for less than it costs to go out to dinner, like say you eat often at, you know, Olive Garden. So for less than going out to Olive Garden, you can choose to better your life, reduce your stress, and ultimately have that happiness and peace that you crave. And you can have it now. How do you join? Super easy. And I invite you to take action now. Right here on this Facebook page, you just scroll down and you'll click one of the buttons below to join our coaching programs right here on this Facebook page. How cool is that? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, you can simply go to our Facebook page using this link here and click the tab for this webinar, how to stop stressing out immediately. And here at Pandasphere, we're getting into massive action, determined to make a difference in the lives of as many people as we can. And for that reason, we'll be holding one of these free webinars every month and giving you another priceless resource to further enrich your life and help you with your real everyday problems. So our next webinar is a topic written deeply on my heart, which is turn your pain into power, how to use adversity to your advantage. We'll be doing that live here again, right on Facebook in October. So keep your eyes out for that. I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. Now, if you have any questions about how to reduce stress or anything else you've heard tonight, you can Facebook message us or get on a free consultation by clicking the link below. So I want to thank you and again, honor you for being here. And my challenge to you is to remember that you are the creator of your life. So create the story you want told. And from our family here at Pandasphere to yours, thank you so much for being with us and you guys have a great night. Yes.